Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, another episode on the model farm today. Uh, so we'll start off. Uh, we got the the John Deere six nine thirty on the bale trailer. Hang on, let me just focus it a second. There we go. On the Richard Weston bale trailer. Uh, on and on that is the defence post basher, uh, the Ford seven eight ten and the post hole uh, digger, and also the the fence posts. And uh, we're basically just off. Uh, with our fencing contracting business today. Uh, six nines off onto the trailer and uh, she'll be uh, heading off to the customer to uh, go do uh, some fencing. Uh, just got the, the basher up there with the telehandler forks and uh, yeah, all fits on really nicely actually. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be going off and doing that and hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, put our name out there and get a lot more customers in the future. Uh, moving along, we've got the 6920S on the Titan cultivator. Um, she's just going to go out and uh, do a bit of contracting as well just to help out uh, one of our neighbours as he's got a field that's a bit he didn't uh, manage to do last winter as it got really wet. Um, so he's just going to go out and help uh, him out uh, and cultivate that field in the 69. Uh, so she, yeah, she's off edge her and uh, she's uh, getting to work on the cultivator there. Uh, the sprayer is back as well um so yeah that's good news the, it's got the new hose fitted so uh hopefully that we'll be using that pretty soon as well uh and class is back too um sorry the class is still there too and the hedge trim is back there as well and that's where it'll be stored until the grain comes in and the 3140 is there obviously as well uh moving along the cows are back uh so they're just munching away on some uh some silage there uh, out of one of the silage bales that we fed them last episode. Uh, so yeah, they're back in the cubicle and uh, yeah, so they're back from the paddock up at the top of the farm. And they'll be back until uh, the grass is cut. Uh, and uh, we've also got the JCB town leather on a silage bale. The last one, just to be fed up. Uh, and then we'll get started on those hay bales uh, pretty soon now. Um, so yeah, and then the obviously the um, uh, the scrapers there as well. Uh, and then moving on over here, the tank is just parked up for a second, uh, as we're gonna get going on one more field. There's one more field that we can do, uh, and we'll roll out roll that in afterwards. Um, the Ford Five Thousand is just parked up there. Uh, we've moved the little cultivator back um, behind. No, sorry, in front of the seed drill, and uh, yeah, that's uh, we'll put her on inside and uh, keep her in good condition. Uh, so she's not uh, outside the whole time. And then, yeah, the 3650's here as well. And the man's just stopping out, and his dog's there as well. And, um, yeah, he's just uh, stopped for the slurry for just a second. But he'll be back on it soon uh, with the last field. Uh, and then, lastly up here, nothing much has changed. Uh, we've just got the Ford TW25 and the NC dump, uh, sorry, NC uh, Minua spreader. And he's just giving it a pressure wash off as uh, they got a bit mucky uh, when they were doing the muck spreading. And obviously, if you leave this muck on, uh, it's quite uh, it's quite bad for the tractor's paint and also the machinery's paint. So you definitely want to get it off, uh, give it a good wash, keep it in good condition. Uh, so yeah, that's what he's up to. Uh, and he just needs to do the wheels on the spreader, and otherwise, it's looking pretty clean. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, hope everyone's staying safe uh, during this lockdown. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all later and thanks for watching. Bye for now.